We head into the next few days. It's going to be uh, even more comfortable. Uh, temperatures definitely cooling down, but today 82 degrees right around the average. It's just a perfect summer day here in the Portland area. You can see we saw those clear skies after things cleared out uh, earlier this afternoon along the coast. A little bit of a different story, though. A lot of cloud cover there still 64 degrees as we take a look from our Chinook winds camera, uh, but still a nice day out there across the region tonight. We're going to be seeing things cooling down a bit. We'll be about 60 61 degrees for that low in Portland will be into the 50s along the coast and then into eastern Oregon temperatures much cooler into the 40s. Eastern Oregon going to be mainly clear for this evening, but uh, here west of the Cascades we will be seeing clouds increasing late tonight and into the morning hours. Now as we head into tomorrow, we do have a chance of showers early in the morning. 61 degrees as we start our day. We'll see the chance of uh, showers clearing out. This is also going to be a very light precipitation that we'll be seeing. Don't don't expect any heavy showers or anything if we do see that and then temperature is going to be warming up, but not a whole lot. 72 degrees is what we're expecting for the high tomorrow. Going to be seeing clouds sticking around for much of the day and then a cooler evening tomorrow than what we're going to be seeing uh, tonight. Uh, so definitely a, a cool down is coming, but it's not going to last terribly long. We'll get to that in a few minutes, but we're going to be seeing high pressure that is offshore. And so uh, as we see that high pressure offshore, we'll have a weak low that is going to be making its way down into Oregon. That's why we'll be seeing those cooler temperatures and light showers coming in as we head into the morning. Also more clouds going to be uh, that we'll be seeing there. So as we take a look, you can see those kind of spotty showers uh, along the coast later this evening and a little bit into the Cascades as well. But then as we get into tomorrow morning, a little bit more widespread spotty showers. But again, it's not a whole lot of precipitation that we're seeing here. Just those few spots of green. Those kind of go away as we go into the the afternoon and evening, but the clouds going to be sticking around. And then as we head into Saturday morning, again, a chance of some of those early morning showers, those clear out once again. And then it's looking like we're mainly uh, seeing dry skies as we go into Sunday morning with some more clouds there. So uh, as we go into tomorrow and Friday, those early chances of some drizzle, so you might want to get the mowing done later in the afternoon if you need to, but then we'll be dry as we get into Saturday and those cooler temperatures are going to be with us for a little while. So 72 tomorrow and then only 75 on Saturday, still into the 70s as Sunday uh, as we get into Sunday, but that's when we'll start to see the skies clearing out from that cloud cover and then we're back to some more sunny skies and warmer temperatures as we get into next week. By the middle of next week, we'll be back into the upper 80s. 80s, uh, so very nice summer like weather, but we'll get a little bit of a break before we get back into those summer temperatures.